Hey folks, I'm back after a brief period of not being here anymore. What happened, you ask? Well, I got set upon by a group of four mines. They trapped me inside an invisible box and then carried me off to the salt mines. It was terrifying. Anyways, I hope you're feeling fabulous, kids, because today we're going to play a neat little game that's going to let your creative juices flow. That is, assuming your creative juices enjoy spray painting stuff hot pink. As you can see, today's game is called Squeak, and we'll get to it just as soon as this loading screen is done burning itself onto your retinas. Any day now. There we go. Okay, the first thing that you may not notice because of the screen res is that this game is entirely in French. This is because it was made by a French company, the now bankrupt Larissier. Didn't it get changed to English for the UK release, I hear you ask? Not in my version it didn't. Still, it's pretty easy to work out which of these options is one player, so that didn't stop me from playing. You see that little orange ball of fluff? That's our hero, Squeak. Incidentally, the player 2 character is a little green ball of fluff who is also called Squeak. Us feeble mortals can only sit and wonder just how such a thing was conceived by the game's creators, because we will never be able to come up with anything that clever. NEVER! Speaking of clever, let's get on to the plot. Many years ago, some alien came to Squeak's planet and painted it blue. Why he did this, I just don't know. Maybe he was getting ready for a game of pool, like in that one episode of Red Dwarf. Maybe it's the fear of a pink planet. Or maybe he's just a dick. Since the game doesn't give you a reason, I suggest you write your own. Now, quite coincidentally, Squeak and his people are severely allergic to the colour blue, and they'll die if the planet stays this colour for much longer, thus ruining any chance of a sequel. So Squeak steps up to the plate and decides to run around painting everything pink, because if something's worth doing, it's worth doing FABULOUSLY! The aim of the game is simple. You're placed on a map made of blue tiles, and you have to run around it while, ideally, avoiding the enemies at the same time. Whenever you touch a blue square, it automatically turns pink. And once all the squares have turned pink, the level is complete, and you move on to the next board. This continues until you complete all 99 levels, at which point you finish the game. As you may expect, some tiles perform special functions, as well as the standard turn from blue to pink action. You've got ice tiles, conveyor belts, Sometimes you'll step on a bomb that blows the floor out from underneath you, that kind of thing. Thankfully, the special tiles are all clearly labelled, so you don't have any surprises thrown at you once you know what's what. The game also has a selection of power-ups for you to collect. Rapid fire bullets, multi-directional shots, freeze rays, speed shoes... A lot of the stuff that's there is mostly for show, like the point bonuses, but there are one or two useful things. The freeze ray is my favourite. It eliminates the enemy from play, but doesn't spawn any replacements. Squeak's music is... okay, but it's nothing worth listening to outside of the game. There are two main themes, and the game alternates between them whenever you go to a new level. If they aren't your cup of tea, though, you can always turn them off and just listen to the sound effects. I do that. I just fire up Winamp and substitute my own soundtrack. I mostly use Anthrax. As good as the game is, there are one or two problems with it. And the first is that the game is kinda slow. But really, that's to be expected, because there's often a lot going on on the screen, and even the top-end CPC model, which this one is that you're seeing now, doesn't have a huge amount of memory. Second, the screen jerks rather than scrolling, which means you'll very often run off the edge of one screen and right into an enemy on the next, which you wouldn't have done if the screen had scrolled. Thankfully, these problems are confined to the CPC release. I also own the Atari version of the game, and neither of the problems are present. Squeak stays in the middle of the screen, and the map moves around him, and the game itself runs faster than a Dragon Force lead break. Finally, I think a password function would really help this game a lot. The CPC doesn't allow for save stating, so given that this game has 99 levels, you're going to become very familiar with level 1, while the final level will likely remain a mythical beast only heard of in Legend. Heck, I've owned this game for 15 years and I've never seen it. Without a password function, the game is asking for an incredible amount of your time. If you only take 2 minutes to complete each level, then the game will last for 3 hours and 20 minutes, and that's not counting the load times between each level. If anybody's got the time to spend doing that, then by all means go ahead and do it. 
I've got more important things to do, like counting my rice. Overall, however, I think Squeak is brilliant, but the CPC version, maybe not as much. Like I say, the more major gripes that I have about the game are entirely hardware-based. They are nothing to do with the game itself. In fact, if the Atari or Turbo Graphics version came out on the Virtual Console, I may very well buy it, and that really says something about how good the game is. Uh, but for now, I'm done. So until next time, goodbye.